Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you UI split view controller and UI pop over controllers. Two view controllers which you'll not find in an iPhone uh, in an iPhone application. What does the split view controller look like? It looks more like the settings. There's a table on the side, a more disc description on the on the right side. Uh, so let's go ahead and first look at the uh, let's make a project first and let's say want to see how Apple does it so say just simply select the template split view based application call it split view controller save the project and create the project and we have the split view controller let's run this and see how it looks like so split view controller pretty much opens up it has two different view controllers it's three view controllers actually a split view controller is formed by two other view controllers most of the time of table view controller on the left side you can put anything you want on the left side and a detail view on the right side more like having a table view controller with a detail view controller in the same screen since we have enough space in the view controller so there's a view controller on the left and a detail view controller on the right now the code actually if you go through the code you'll see everything how they've done it so let me make some so you know how you know table view controller it's just a table view controller here so i can just give some text equal to say hello i can increase the number of rows by saying 10 here and if i run it again you'll see 10 different rows and detail view controller on the right side so you can move it around and a button comes instead of the entire table uh, and if you click on that it will show that particular elements over here which were the and this controller is the UI pop over controller it pops over from the place where you click the button so this is how we do it now this is how Apple does it now what do they do in the background we'll look at that so let me go ahead and stop this project and make a new project I close the previous one and I make a new project I say window based application I want it for iPad so make sure you select iPad because split view controllers are only for um, for iPads save the project and once I have it I just have a have a one single file app delegate so I'll make a couple of files I'll say new file and I will do the same thing so I pretty much want a table view controller for the left one so I'll say table view controller and I will call it a left view controller makes a table view controller and let's go in and change them modify this uh, we have to support both orientations so I'll say yes here and sections I need one remove this and set 10 and cell dot text label dot text equal to hello so once I have that my table view is ready for the left side now I need a detail view for the right one so I'll say a new file detail view I can just make a simple view controller I can say targeted for iPad so it does the orientation thing and I'll call it detail view controller once I have those files I can go back to my split view controller and go here first I need to make the left view controller so I'll to import first so let me go ahead and import the left view controller and then go ahead and import the detail view controller once I have those two I can go ahead and say left view controller star left equal to left view controller allocate initialize and I want to give a navigation bar to if you saw in the cust in the one that Apple made it had a navigation bar on the top for both of them so I'll make navigation bar UI navigation controller star navig left equal to UI navigation controller allocate in it with root view controller left and then I want one for the detail view controller so I'll say detail view 
detail equal to detail view controller allocate and initialize and I want navigation controller for this two cells in navig right and I'll give navigation controller allocate init with root view controller detail and now I need to have a split view controller which has these two controls just a UI split view controller split view controller equal to split view controller same thing same kind of coding in it and then I say split view controller dot um, view controllers equal to its array so I'll say this array array with objects I need the navig left first on the left side and navig right on the right side so the first the order is the left one comes first and the right one is the second one do that and I say self dot window dot root view controller equal to split view controller also I need to give the split view controller delegates let me tell you what that is in a moment so as soon as I say split view controller dot delegate equal to I will write it in detail because that's where that's what you see all the time when it moves around uh, we want it to show the pop over controller so let me go here and UI split view controller delegate let's see what this is I can right click and say jump to definition split view controller has three delegate methods if you want to know what delegate says you should look at my video for delegates and uh, we'll see what delegates are so I go ahead and copy and paste these functions so this one gives a bar button by default there will be no bar button in a view control let's not write any code right now and run the project and see how it looks like did it add the split view controller to it to our iPad or not so it's building and it's creating the app right now and it will launch the app in a second so it creates the window adds the split view controller navigation controller and detail view on the right we can't see thing of detail view controller right now so I'll go ahead and change the background for the detail view controller to say white color and I'll add a label I'll call it label allocate it with frame cg rect make 100 100 330 lbl dot text equal to say hello world and then I say self dot I add the label to the view by saying view lbl so once I have that I let's see how it looks like so we have a split view controller we saw that we also had a table view control on the left even that showed up hello world now when I move it around I don't see the button for the pop over controller so the delegate methods actually help doing that so this one called when a button should be added to a toolbar so in if it if you just make a split view controller it will not automatically show up but this function will give something called as bar button item so you can say bar button item uh, set title if I want to give a title to it say uh, table or something anything you can give whatever you want for your application and I need to give it to self dot navigation item dot left bar button item is bar button item so it will add it to the left side of the bar button and then when I uh, don't need it I have to remove it so this is the function that is called of when that is to be done hmm. let's look at that how that is done so that is done by just saying self dot navigation item dot left bar button 
system equal to nil so you just nil the button and it will go away and this one called when the view controller is shown in a popover so the delegate can't take action like hiding other popovers so that is another method which you can use if you need but i don't think we need it right now let's go ahead run the application and there we go our application is there now let's see if i there we go a button came up and this is a ui popover controller it shows up from wherever you click the button same as the previous one and it goes away when you go in the other orientation so that's about ui split view controllers and uh, ui popover controllers uh, thank you for watching uh, subscribe to my video and subscribe to my channel and i'll make some more videos for you ask me any questions you want in the comments and i'll get back to you thank you very much